the biggest issue that teenagers face is like this peer pressure to be someone that you aren't. And, uh, just social media plays a huge part in that. I just feel like there's a lot of pressure just to like fit in. Suicide and mental health are some of the most important issues that teens are facing today. I have a diagnosis for generalized anxiety disorder. Seeking help for mental health issues does not make me any less masculine or weak. I feel like my mom does not let me grow up the way I should. I have three youngest siblings and they all have autism, so it's been really hard for me. It's kind of like I'm a third single parent. I have to tuck them in to sleep at night, put them in bed, make them juice early in the morning. Thank you, Angel. You're welcome. It's just really exhausting. Mental health problems are really, really, really common in our generation. And I'm really, really passionate about dispelling that and destigmatizing these conversations so that we can start to combat some of these horrifying rates of suicide. I decided to take a gap year from school. I just realized that I need to just do me. It's just a lot for a 14 year old to handle. I may be alive, but I'm not living. Mm, I can't wait for this conversation. Joining us, 18 year old teen activist Tiana Day from San Ramon, California, 14 year old podcast co host Andrew Bundage from Cottage Grove, Minnesota, and 17 year old mental health advocate. Finn Jacobson from Portland, Oregon. Thank you all for joining us. I know that you have day jobs as teenagers being powerful voices for young people around your age, but you're also someone's child. And that's why we wanted to get your perspective on this important conversation. Tiana, I'd love to start with you because unlike a lot of teens that I hear from anyway, lately in my studying of teenagers, you say you have a lot of freedom. And I wanted to start this portion of our conversation about independence. You want it, but you live under your parents' roof. And that tends to be one of the main clashes these days. Give me the setup of what it's like for you, because you say you kind of have this, this freedom as a teenager. Definitely, it was earned. Um, growing up, my parents were a lot more strict on me, I would say, as now. I just turned 18, so I guess that helps a little bit. But I've definitely had my issues and struggles with dealing with you know, teenagers and parents in the past. But for now, my parents are super, super, I would say, chill with me, as teenagers say. Um, and they let me do as as I please pretty much, as long as I keep them updated. Um, I do have like phone tracking on my on my phone so they know where I am did at all Did they time. put the just... phone tracking on your phone? Did you guys agree on that or did they put it on without you asking? No, we agreed on it. Um, my mom originally told me, you know, if you wanna go out with your friends, you wanna do this, this is my rule, I'm gonna lay it down here. If you wanna do this, this is how you have to do it. And we kind of just made that common ground. And I think it started in sixth grade where we would argue a lot. And we had this conversation, we sat down and I was like, look, mom, I'm a teenager and I'm the first oldest daughter of, I have two younger sisters too. And I want to be able to do these things, but I don't wanna disrespect you. And I wanna yeah. be able to have this open conversation. And from there, we've had a lot better relationship because we've laid down the rules on each side, what she feels comfortable with, and what, what I'm comfortable with as Finn, well. Finn, I see you nodding to this. And I wanted to start off with the whole conversation of independence. As I said, I snuck off. I won't tell you the age I was, but I was <laughs> I shouldn't have been sneaking off. And that that's, to me, one of those big clashes because you're a teenager, you want your freedom, but right. it doesn't always fall in sync with your parents' desires. What do you experience? Yeah, so I love what Tiana said, and I want to echo that. I think that we are definitely living similar teenagehoods. Um, I have been given a lot of freedom by my parents, uh, but there's a mutual trust involved with that. You know, what Tiana was saying, I also have uh, location tracking on my phone, but that was something we agreed upon. I've always told my- How did the conversation come up on the location tracking? I mean, how did your parents and you meet together on that one? So it was very nonchalant. Uh, my dad discovered the app Life360. Um, we all agreed that it had features that we desired, location tracking, crash detection. And we really enjoyed having that knowledge about each other and having that app on all of our phones. And it works for us. And you don't feel that your privacy is being compromised. I remember my mother opening my mail once at 16. And I'm like, you're invading my privacy. Do you ever turn it off without them knowing, or when you were younger especially? 
or try to turn it off? Yeah, I, I don't really recall a time where I've done that. You know, what I've always told my parents is I would be fine if you got me chipped because my parents and I are able to have those really open conversations. Andrew, I know your situation is different. You were quoted as saying, I may be alive, but I'm not living. How does that affect your self-esteem? How does that affect you as a teenager? It can be very frustrating because my mom is constantly watching over me. She'll constantly be looking over my shoulder. These two, they may have phone tracking. I don't even have a phone yet, and I'm 14. I'm in high school. I still don't have a cell phone. Do but you want one? Yes, very much what so. What is the We've reason they won't let you have one? What what, is she, what do your parents say, your mom say? Apparently, I'm not mature enough. Oh. And you think you are, or you know you that are, sounds correct. like it. So, I mean, mm -hmm. how does this create tension? in the home because you want that independence. You feel like the both of them, you've earned it, but your parent doesn't feel the same way. We probably have arguments every day about what I'm mature enough to and what not to do, where I can and can't go by myself, the things I can and can't see on my own. Mm -hmm. It's almost every day me and my mom have arguments about the movies I watch or the songs I listen to, that kind of thing. But it's so interesting because you talked about your siblings who you help with in the home. So, and I don't want to get any trouble here. On one hand, though, you are seen as independent enough to help with them, but you say not independent enough to even have a cell phone. That is correct. Uh, you know, are you an outlier? Do you have any other friends who have such strict rules in their lives? My fr my friend, he's two years younger than me. He lives down the street from me, and he even has a phone. So I could, this bugs you. I could hear it in your voice.